the majority of the mass in the universe is hiding in filaments that make up a cosmic web, stretching around the edges of enormous voids. These filaments, in which all the galaxies are located, make up just 0.2% of the universe's volume but hold more than half of its mass, according to new research. And astronomers claim that at least a fifth of the normal matter in the universe is likely to have been banished into the voids by supermassive black holes. Our understanding of the composition of the universe has been refined over years through modern satellite observations. Observatories like COB, WMAP, and Planck have looked at cosmic microwave radiation, thermal radiation left over from one stage of the Big Bang, to measure what the universe is made up of. The most recent measurements show it is made up of 4.9% normal matter or baryons, which is the matter that makes up stars, planets, gas, and dust. More than 26% is the mysterious and unseen dark matter, while, 68.3% is the even more elusive dark energy. A group of researchers from Austria, Germany, and the US used advanced computer simulations of the evolution and formation of galaxies to look at the mass and volume of the filaments in the cosmic web, and the matter within them. The Illustris project simulated a cube of space within the universe, 350 million light years long on each side. The group was led by Dr. Marcus Hayter of the Institute of Astro and Particle Physics at the University of Innsbruck in Austria. The simulation started when the universe was just 12 million years old. It tracked how gravity and the flow of matter changed the structure of the cosmos and dealt with both normal and dark matter, looking closely at the gravitational pull of the dark matter. From the results the researchers found that about 50% of the total mass of the universe is in the places where galaxies are found, compressed into a volume of 0.2% of the universe we see, and a further 44% is Indiana the enveloping filaments. Just 6% of the total mass is located in the voids, which makes up 80% of the volume. But Hayter's team also found that a surprising fraction of normal matter, 20 percenter is likely to be have been transported into the voids. This appears to be because of the supermassive black holes found in the centers of galaxies. Some of the matter falling towards the holes is converted into energy, which is delivered to the surrounding gas, and leads to large outflows of matter. The matter stretches for hundreds of thousands of light years and reaches beyond their host galaxies. Apart from filling the voids with more matter than thought, the result might help explain the missing baryon problem, where astronomers do not see the amount of normal matter predicted by their models. Dr. Hayter said the simulation, one of the most sophisticated ever run, suggests that the black holes at the center of every galaxy are helping to send matter into the loneliest places in the universe. What we want to do now is refine our model, and confirm these initial findings. Observing this matter in the voids is likely to be very difficult because it will be too cool to give off X-rays that could be seen by satellites. Illustris is now running new simulations, and results from these should be available in a few months, with the researchers keen to see whether for example their understanding of black hole output is right.